from the heavens And he sees every human heart From his throne he observes all who live on the earth To defend those who hope in his name Welcome to our Thursday morning devotions. We're continuing to have a think about God. Today we're going to concentrate on God as omnipresent. Ever looked in your diary and realised that you double booked and of course needed to apologise and cancel at least one of them, if not both? God never double books. Ever been on the home phone? and your mobile goes off in another room. Well, of course, you can't answer both at the same time. God can and does billions of times every single day. Ever been stretched in three directions at one time and fail to adequately manage any of them? God can and does. How? Because, of course, God is omnipresent. He is present everywhere and every time, all of the time. Let me read this morning from Psalm 139, verses 7 to 16. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is of light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came into being. Where can you go where God isn't? Well, of course, the psalmist here is exploring the nature of God's omnipresence and its implications for us. Whether you head upwards, downwards, across to the right and back, Cross to the left and back, you will find God there. Even if you could do all those things at the same time, he would always be there, always ahead of us, always omnipresent. In moments of deep despair and delusion, God is there, present and active. In our defeats and successes, God is there. In the red light district, the asylum seekers campsite, in the prisons, in the sports stadiums, in the pub, in the schools, in the factories, and even in churches, God is ever present and ever engaged. Before we entered the world, even before we existed, God was present to us. It's mind blowing. But it's true. I can remember my grandparents used to have a little sign up in their living room that read these words. God is the head of this house, the unseen guest at every meal, the silent listener at every conversation. I think as a child, I thought that was quite unnerving. 
God seemed to be a little bit like a spy listening in, waiting for us to say something inappropriate or, or to do something that he would be very annoyed with. But of course, the opposite is true. God delights in being present and enjoys listening to our conversations. God wasn't waiting for us to fail. God was waiting for us to become all that we could be in him. Therefore, his attendance was welcome and his listening was too because he cared and he wants to hear from us. So let's not be unnerved by God's presence today. God is for us and he's not against us. He's not trying to catch us out or trip us up. Enjoy his life-affirming presence with you and I today, and of course, every day. One, two, one, two, three. For the word of the Lord holds true, and I can trust everything that he'll do. Cause he loves what is just and all that is good. His unfailing love fills the earth With a word he painted the heavens By his breath he breathed the stars He made the land and seas and set their boundaries It was all done upon his command Oh, he spoke and the whole world began